so what is it that keeps you going? You, you know, with your interviewing all these entrepreneurs. So what is it that excites you about your interviews? It's, it's one of those things is like, just like when I realized that I was 50% analytical and 50% creative and then I owned it and then I continued on that journey. And now I'm realizing, well, throughout my journey, I've made all these relationships, all these partnerships, all these different business ventures, and even like meeting you. And I'm like, it's only an opportunity for me to kind of give back my community of people back to everybody else and tell their stories. So for me, it's kind of like, um, um, not only, um, shaking the hands or giving love from the people that have helped me on my journey, but taking their stories and inspiring other people with them. And then the more and more I look at my, every time I look at my Rolodex and every time I go to a networking event, every time I do a speaking engagement, I'm just like, the list is never ending. And I, and I want to get to the bottom of the list. So I'm like, I have to do more. I have to produce more. I have to get more content out there and I have to do more interviews in order to make that happen. So it's a never ending thing for me. And I, I, I've decided it's just going to be a lifelong thing for me and then at the end of that journey it'll be an opportunity for like my kids and my grandkids to kind of see my progression and learn from all the people that I've learned from and take bits of somebody may take a bit of this podcast and want to learn French just because they've seen what you've done with it right uh, another podcast somebody you know he's a model somebody else is a photographer but they all have these individual journeys of success and how they've gotten there and the steps that they took and the crossroads that they went down. It's just an opportunity to share all that information.